Oh yeah. Time for some IBM personal computer AT goodness here on LGR Blurbs. Greetings and all that. I've uh, got this out because I'm actually about to pack it up. But I was testing some other things out and finally got this thing set up in such a way that I can talk about what we're about to talk about today. And that is this here. I got a message from uh, an LGR patron. Uh, her name was Megan Alnico. Uh, she's an author and she released a book, a novel actually, kind of a, a space opera sounding thing. And um, yeah, she got in touch. She's like, do you want to take a look at it really in particular because uh, kind of a gimmick that goes along with it, but a really, really cool one, I think. And that is that there is a, an MS-DOS ebook version of this available, which I've never seen before. I don't know. I, I, really cool to me as like a custom boot disc and executable and all kinds of stuff. I don't have a physical disc, but um, she hooked me up with the files and uh, I wanted to try it out. And in particular, I wanted to try it out uh, on an IBM AT, the PC5170 here, because um, she mentioned here, yeah, if you'd like to make a request, I know you have an IBM AT5170. That's the computer I had in middle slash high school. So as long as it can display ANSI colors, it should be a good choice. You are, of course, free to use whatever you like, but I mean, come on. How can I say no to a request like that since I have it all right here and uh, working as it should? In fact, I have um, ANSI.sys loaded up on startup, I believe. Let me double check that. Uh, yeah, there it is. So you will need that for some of the special characters and stuff. Yeah, Chroma Space. Conscript is the name of the novel. Kind of a, yeah, sci-fi space opera thing. I haven't actually read it all yet. Part Expanse, part X-Men action adventure. Let's see here. Yeah, so there's a DOS ebook and you can um, print out your own floppy disk labels if you want. And then, um, yeah, retro DOS ebook. So check this out. PCAT compatible. That's just so cool. Enjoy a retro reading experience with the DOS eBook Edition. This floppy image is a self-contained operating system that allows you to read the book in all its text mode glory straight from the floppy drive. No installation required. PCAT compatible computer with a three and a half inch 1.44 meg floppy drive or emulator, at least 640K of memory, and a PS2 slash serial mouse is required. I, I seem to remember messing around with this with a keyboard previously, but hey, whatever. We'll try it with a mouse. Additional support software, maybe men, men, yeah, yeah. So that's awesome. Uh, let's check it out. Unfortunately, I, I'm not gonna be able to boot from the disc. I actually uh, tried and I don't have this computer set to boot up from that. I could do it from here, but then you know we're, we're dealing with different disc formats and that's just, yeah, whatever. I put it on the hard drive. So uh, we can do basically the same thing anyway. And this is actually not really a hard drive, it is another device, hence it taking another couple of seconds there to get this part. Uh, but here we go, yeah. So this is what you would get on the floppy disk should you write the disk image that is downloadable through uh, the website. I wanna say FD Auto is the one that just loads. I'm not sure what the file not found is about, but anyway, we do get this lovely ANSI art uh, and even lovelier colors here on this delightful IBM 5154 EGA display. Let me zoom in a bit. Mm-hmm. Nice and crispy. Chroma Space Conscript. DOS eBook Edition. Copyright 2021 by Megan Alnico. All right, press any key to connect. I'm gonna press that one. <laughs> it's a really cool uh, little introduction thingy there. And as you can see, we've got um, what looks to be a command prompt of sorts. I don't actually know what you can do here, if anything. I mean, I'm sure there's, there's gotta be like some hidden something in here. I don't know, I, I would put hidden things in here. Like if it's Unix, you'd think that, you know, LS would work, um, but it, it doesn't. I, I don't think anything does necessarily. Clear works. <laughs> I think it just changes what the command prompt in DOS is doing. Anyway, let's just get into the main batch file here. And there we go. Do I have the mouse turned on? Oh, no, I don't. Okay, let me turn it on really quick. 
Okay, let's try that again with the mouse driver loaded. Aha! There we go. Nice. Yeah, it definitely makes it easier, but I mean, this is what I was doing before when I've tried this. I mean, it's got all the commands right there, so I, it's, it's just fine with keyboard or mouse, I would say. It's basically just hyperlinks here. Whoop. Windows 95. Um. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I, I don't, I don't want to... I just want to go back. All right, so we've got links at the bottom of chapters. So that's how to navigate. So let's see, we've got a, uh, a word from the author here. Thank you so much for the time you spent with me here exploring the little world of Jacob and his friends. There's a preview of the next book. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I can see more why you'd want the mouse now for all these links. <laughs> Nice. Let's go. Uh, let's go back. I want to get to like. Dang it! Ah! <laughs> yeah. So I guess this is kind of an HTML viewer, really. It's fascinating. I've never seen one of these on DOS. Makes sense why you. I guess you really would want the mouse. Clicking around on hyperlinks and stuff is uh, not great with just a keyboard. All right, let's get to chapter one. I'm obviously not going to show the whole book because it's the book. If you're interested, you know, you can go and grab it. But uh, yeah, chapter one. There's something else she said in here. <laughs> the first section of chapter one is like 12 lines of text. It might be fun for us viewers if you read it in your Duke Nukem voice. Jacob panted as he came to a stop at the top of the hill. He fell to his knees in the green grass, legs burning, chest aching, grabbing the low orbit transponder from his belt. He pressed the send button. Field agent Zachary to the Ulysses, he puffed. I'm not sure if this is how he sounds, but he does now. Mission is done, requesting extraction. He gulped air again, laid down on his back, and stared up at the strange blue sky with its angular clouds. It's over. It's finally over, he told himself. Jacob lay there for a good 20 minutes before he craned his head and looked at the transponder in his hand. He pressed the send button again. Ulysses, are you there? Ulysses, this is Jacob. Can you hear me? Duke Nukem. <laughs> but there was no response. And another 20 minutes later, there was still no response. Jacob let out a deep sigh. I am so screwed. So, uh... Yeah, man. It's a book. And honestly, whether or not... It's uh, to your tastes. You're into this kind of fiction. I mean, again, the fact that somebody actually went out of their way to make this happen and uh, make it compatible as it is anyway. You know, I, I don't know. I'm still kind of curious if like this is working 100% properly on this system. Uh, I don't know. There's always little variables when you're running programs like this. It can be like the, the graphics or the operating system version actually recently upgraded this to MS-DOS 6.22 because I was having some problems with this um, and other programs on version 3.3. So that's a thing. But uh, yeah, anyway, I just think this is really neat and I thought it was worth sharing and talking about. You know, I kind of wish that there were actual physical, like pre-made floppy disks available that you could buy because I think that would be really cool. But you know, even just having the option to download the ebook, write your own disk and make your own floppy label it's pretty neat as a collectible and uh, just, you know, a different way of uh, distributing a book. I, I don't know. Again, I've never seen it before. If you know of any other ebooks, let me know in the comments, you know, for DOS. You know, this is a little bit different in the terms, in the sense that, you know, it's got files and stuff that are purposely made for this. You know, in particular, this little startup thing. I, I think that's just really cool. Like you'd stick the disc in there and you get this, you know, and this whole thing. Yeah just a little bit of extra immersion as you're starting to read your book. So yeah, well, whatever, man, uh, this is just neat, I thought. So um, thank you, Megan, for sending this over and uh, I'm glad that this exists. So yeah, check out the description if you uh, want some links to Chroma Space Conscript. 
Anyway, that's it for this blurb. Just a simple one. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching.